Hi all, in this video we will be continuing with our POST API. So I have already started the server uh, using npm run dev command and also we have earlier created this postman collection. So if I click on send it should get me all the POST requests. So let's create two, un uh, two endpoints. One which will update the POST and another one should delete it. So let's get started. So I'll just use this router. We can use uh, either put or patch. So I'll go with put to update a particular user. So router dot put also takes one endpoint name. So it will it will be post only and it will again get me request response and next now I will check one thing if this uh, I'll extract post first so our post contains this it should contain ID title and contents this can only be updated by the user so what can we extract from body is I'll extract constant it should contain an ID since we are updating it title and also content and should come from request dot body since now we have body and we can specify a check if not ID then we should send response dot send Or send actually respond to status which should be 404 and we should send uh, JSON so I'll use this JSON and I'll send a message saying post not found so since we have handled the ID case uh, ID null case then what we can do is we can find it using our post uh, model which is coming from here we have created one post model so we are using SQLize ORM so now I sh uh, what should I do is if uh, the user has ID then what I can do is just put it here post dot update and what I can do is so I'll just write post dot update and I will pass in the title and content and we should also specify some conditions and it should be where and I will specify ID so it should update only this part and then we can do this and on then we can write this so if there's a result it should give me the updated result so then I'll send this dot status it should be 200 and then it should be a JSON uh, which should get us back the result and if we get an error so we should also catch that and I'll just copy paste this error code itself okay so here we are done okay so I'm saving this and now we should up get here and I'll just copy this endpoint which we are using and I'll just create a new request inside this post add request and it should be update post and this should be a put request and I'll paste this and body should be present there raw json and we can only update if the post id is available otherwise none create post I'll just use the, I'll just copy paste this id 5 and 
and do this now and here I'll just add one colon we don't need all this so, and we can try this so I've added some exclamation mark with post and also capitalize this since it is start of the sentence and so we get back a response that one it is updated so what we can do is number of rows updated so what we can do is instead of sending this I can say that if result is greater than zero and I should may be doing this inside the curly braces yeah if result is greater than zero since it can update multiple rows can do this so this is one way of doing it uh, and the way we can update this is by getting first the post so I'll use that method instead so I'll just delete this and I'll show you another method so what we can do is we can use this post to get post and I'll just use this post okay so initially it should be no okay what you can do is post dot find one and we can pass in the options and there we can pass where and we can query this ID with this ID and now this should get me the updated post so if I go here and show the result this should be our value and this should be of type post and uh, post instance actually so what I can do is now result should have update method where I can pass this title and content content since this is an another query we will have again a then block since I'm returning this as a promise then I will have again then block and this should and we have to also call so just let me check whether the post was updated or not I was I forgot about that so if I go here and query the ID file so it was updated here as you can see and this is capitalized so what we can do is now coming to this so this should update that instance and then uh, I'm since this is a promise after updating it you should have result dot save method so this will save it in the database and this is also returning a promise so then I can pass in the result and now I will be sending that uh, JSON uh, uh, result as JSON and I'll also specify the status of it status and that should be 200 since it is updated and we should also have the catch block so I'll just copy paste from other methods and I'll send the error as it is you can also specify this particular message but I'm sending this as error so let's try this one instead whether it is updating or not so our server has restarted here and I'll just remove this and I'll just specify its function update and let's see whether it is updating or not so there's an internal server error so let's log the error let's see what is causing this all so I'll just do this return and I'll pass this and I'll just console log the 
error what is happening for save so let's see let's restart and now let's try again and see, we should see that cannot read property get of undefined and server response to json hmm, interesting Forty-six. So this is a promise. This is also a promise. So I'm doing this. So let's check whether the post is updating or not. So the post is updating, as you can see here. We are getting this error because it's two hundred and. Well, then why we are we getting this error cannot read property get of undefined at server response or json at line number 36 oh okay we are getting this because of this i made it at response and we are using response so we can see this so now it should work fine come here and again try this request I'll just save this request and update I'll specify update 2 then try to send this now I'm getting this updated and if you can see this is also fetching me the date so great now we have created this update method and now we can also use the delete method so delete method actually should be a http delete uh, pub so i'll just use this delete method router dot delete and it should again take actually we should use this id parameter and then again we should pass a callback function for this and this callback should have request response next So now we can extract this ID from the request dot params and it should be this ID since we are looking for it now we should find a post it should be find one and we should get the post where ID should be this and then if we are able to find the post then what we can do is so this will be the post that we are querying for and we can use this to result dot destroy method and it is returning a promise then what we can do is so this destroy is also a promise and it will be returning nothing so once it is done actually we should be able to destroy it have deleted the post and after that we can also specify this catch error since it is returning a promise of void so it will not contain anything so i'll just pass it as success so i'll just response dot status of for deletion i'm i do not remember request and the status code then we will passing a message json and we can use this message and i'll use this template strings post with id is deleted successfully and then again i'll just remove this i'll just remove this we didn't remove this we do not need return so we already debugged it
and I'll just copy paste this if we get any error I'll just send it back so I'll just paste this and it should work fine we should also have one condition if we do not have an ID then we should also send this the same post not found so if I save this so my postman is restarting sorry my server is restarting It's taking a long time to restart so let me save it again okay so finally it has started and let's see let's check our delete method I'll save this update post and let's just get this ID and we can use this I'll just create another request to add request and this will be named as delete post and the endpoint will be I'll just copy this from here and it will contain a ID so let's say 5 and we can and this should be a delete request then so let's try it whether it's working or not so it is giving me a postman API interesting okay I should specify a slash and the server is restarted I should see send okay so now it has worked post with oh I missed the keyword and now with ID 5 the post is deleted so if I send again we will get uh, internal server error and we don't have any error so internal server error comes here so let me see whether it... so if we have a valid ID but we cannot find anything so that's in the case if So we can handle this in case you do not find any post. So hmm. So what we can do is we can just go here this and we can check if result dot we can check whether if result then we will call result dot destroy actually we need to return this otherwise if not then we need to return something like this so just use this and I'll paste this return here so if we have a post I should type correctly and now if we do not have a post with ID then we can send that post not found so if I come here yeah so I'm getting now post not found and if I try to delete one with post ID one has been deleted and if I send a request now then it says post not found so I'll save this collection and let's go to the get all post and check whether how many posts we have so we have only three posts left two three and four so great uh, we have completed our crude applications and we have successfully created uh, one API and it got imported I'll delete that we do not need that so we have successfully created our uh, node express API and so I have one update uh, this all the code shown here is present in github so if I go here on my academy this is and it has it contains one repository 
it has post API so I'll push this code in the third branch so first branch contains first video setup second branch contains second video code changes and this third will contain this third video changes so if I go to second branch you can see we have this postman collection also so I'll update everything and commit again you can take the latest uh, one if you do not remember the URL you can uh, it will be mentioned in the YouTube description so thank you all for watching this please like and subscribe if you like this content